We just arrived to IBN Batuta station. We bought the tickets to Abu Dhabi, return tickets for 100 dirhams, and we are going to E101. arrived to mosque in Abu Dhabi and I'm not properly dressed and I really don't know if I can go inside because I've been told that uh, they should give me uh, their clothes so let's see we just took a taxi from a bus station uh, we pay around 33 dirhams and I'm so excited to go there at the mosque entrance there is a very modern shopping mall there is plenty of shops and you can buy here coffees or some souvenirs at the first you need to register, keep this printed ticket with you because you will need it a few times. Between the entrance and the mosque is very modern, air-conditioned underground tunnel. They gave us uh, these long um, clothes and dress, we need to cover our heads. It's really hot, it's like 33 degrees, oh my god. Um, but it looks amazing here. They don't have enough clothes for men, so they let Dushan to go in a amazing shorts and flops. <laughs> okay, let's get inside and let's see how it looks here. Those pools along the arcades reflect the mosque colors, which become illuminated at night. It reminds me of Santorini. This is beautiful, I love these colors. Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi is the third largest mosque in the world. It took 11 years to build this mosque and the cost is 2 billion dirhams. The mosque is large enough to accommodate over 41,000 worshippers. It looks here amazing, oh my god, I never saw such a beautiful place like this. It's like white marble. Yeah, it's like small stones inside. So like marble and marble inside. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque has many special and unique elements. As you can see, the mosque is inspired by Persian and Mughal architecture. It looks gorgeous here. I love it. Yeah, the sun is very strong, but you cannot go there, unfortunately. There are only specific zones where you can feel the walk. So you cannot go on this square, basically. It's, everything is white, it's shining white with the stones inside, which is like flowers. Exactly like in the movies where you can see, it's unbelievable. Have a look around on all these details. Who is gorgeous here? The courtyard with its floral design measures about 17,000 square meters and is considered to be the largest example of marble mosaic in the world. There are about 82 domes in the Sheikh Zayed Mosque. The largest one is located at the center of the main hall. The inner parts of domes are made with Moroccan artistry. You cannot go at the moment in the middle of the square, but they should accommodate around 35,000 people, which is really a lot. Probably you can go there only for special occasions. We are just entering the mosque. I'm so excited. The Grand Mosque has seven imported chandeliers from Germany that incorporate millions of Swarovski crystals. That's why they are so shiny and beautiful. The carpet in the main prayer hall is considered to be the world's largest hand-noted carpet designed by an Iranian artist. The weight of this carpet is 35 tons and is predominantly made from wool. This is the third largest chandelier in the world. As I mentioned before, it's made from Swarovski crystals. On this Quibla wall, 
you can see the 99 names of Allah in traditional Kufi calligraphy. Nice flowers, isn't it? Very nice it, And you don't need to be watering them. <laughs> So don't lose it. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love all these lights. This largest carpet in the world took almost two years to design it, knot it and bring it into one piece. 1,200 workers worked hard to create this unique carpet. Your special watch in the background, so they know when they need to pray, they pray every day in the let me know in the comments down below whether you have been here before and how did you like it? was the most gorgeous place as I've seen in my life. Everything is white, shiny, very, very clean. And um, I can show you the entrance, which is behind me. You can see like two big bowls. On the left and right hand side. And then you have like underground entrance here. So everything is air conditioned. Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. I really recommend to come to Abu Dhabi to see the mosque. Yeah, we have it? So we buy this one. I love it. So you can use it for kiss. Yeah, really, really nice for kiss. We will take a bus to see mosque from, from the side. There is an entrance, as I already mentioned before. Uh, you can find there a huge shopping center with uh, a lot of restaurants and as well there are some coffee shops. What is it? So we are going for the viewing platform, which is uh, called Wahat Al Karamat. It looks absolutely gorgeous from here. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and I hope that you really enjoyed this video from Abu Dhabi, from the mosque and I hope that I see you next video. Bye!